Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we have a video about Siege. Now a lot of you guys have been waiting for this video. I've been seeing it in my comments a lot how you guys were excited for my opinion on Siege and the mode and just how it is right now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to play like three or four games alongside Feli and Usain Cole and we're just going to talk about Siege. We're going to talk about what changed, what they took out, what they put in and we'll just start a discussion. So with that being said, let's hop into the first game. Okay, so here we go into the first game and you know, let's just talk about what made Siege special before. So the special part about Siege was that it was basically the only mode that wasn't two to two and a half minute long. You know, it was a max four and a half minutes, which was really cool. You got to play a lot of really, really cool long games that were super, super competitive. And what also made it cool is the reward system. So the fact that you got double trophies for winning and you lost double the trophies for losing. So it was kind of a high risk, high reward type of mode. And this made it just the by far absolute favorite game mode for top players. Um, you know, it definitely wasn't for your casual everyday player. Um, you know, just because, you know, a lot of people, they queue up with randoms for star keys. And, you know, they don't want to queue up with randoms when, you know, you're going to go into a game and you're going to lose three games. And that's like a 36 trophy loss or something like that just to get a star key. So... That is the reason, apparently, for why they changed it. Um, it doesn't make much sense to me, to be honest. Just because, you know, you, there's a lot of modes that are already very casual, such as Bounty, Gem Grab, Heist. Just a lot of super casual modes that, you know, there's... It, they're just... They're, you know, they're, they're made for them already. You know, they're made for getting the star key and for queuing up with randoms and such. So I don't understand why they have to make every mode like that. So with that being said... Let's hop into the first game. Um, that's why Siege was really good. Um, it was the perfect time. The mode was made to be four and a half minutes. It wasn't made to be two and a half minutes. So the robots made sense. You know, the damage on the safe, or the Ike made sense. Everything just made sense about the mode. And it was just, it was perfect. A lot of us liked it. It was a lot of people's favorite mode. It was one of the best competitive modes Brawl Stars has ever seen. And, you know, that's just how it was. Let's get into the second game before we continue speaking. So yeah, here we go into the second game and to continue what we were saying, you know, Siege is a really good mode. It was one of the best, if not the best, competitive modes. Uh, there were a lot of different metas. You can you can play a control, you can play tanks, you can play range, you know, you can you could have done whatever you wanted. And then they made the change. So now to talk about the new siege. So the new siege, it in my opinion, it's awful. In most players' opinions, it's awful, at least for most of the top players, because those are majority of the people I speak to. Um, I know a few content creators aren't very happy with the mode. But, you know, that's just where we stand. So I want to know in the comment section how you guys stand. Um, you know, I know there are a lot of top players in my chat. I know there are a lot of casual players in my chats. So, you know, I just want to know exactly what the opinion of everyone is. Because I saw a lot of you guys defending it. And I'm not saying the mode is absolute garbage and it's never going to be played. But it, it's really not what it used to be before. Now, the new mode, it's outside of this map. It's just all just tank spam. And what I mean by that is just... Like, we played a competitive game yesterday, or, or a few yesterday, and all it is is running around with tanks, trying to get the first couple of bolts, and that's something I want to talk about next. The, the bolts, the bots, just doing so much, uh, just a ridiculous amount of damage. Every single time that you get a bot, you do an unreal amount of damage, and I just don't understand why. There's no reason why they have to do that much damage. If you get the first bot, you basically guarantee yourself a win, which is just ridiculous. That should never be a thing. There's very little comeback ability in this new Siege. Uh, that was really good about the old Siege, the fact that you can come back very, not easily, but there, there was that comeback ability. You, you, if you were down, you aren't gonna lose. In this new Siege, once you're down, once you lose that first bot, it's over. There's nothing that you can do about it, it's a GG. And it's basically whoever gets, if you last to the third bot, it's whoever gets the third bot wins. Now, hopefully, uh, like we get the third bot and we win this game, because if not, that would be really awkward as I'm explaining it to you guys. We actually might lose since um, it looks like we're not going to get this last bot. Yeah, we're not going to get it. But um, but yeah, that, it's just it just makes no sense. This new siege. It's we're trying to play off meta. You know, we're running the gene. We're only running one tank, which is really really strange for this new meta. And we're just trying to run a, a little bit off meta. But it's the mode itself is just so basic now. It's just gone back to what every other mode was which is just this basic two and a half minute mode and there's very little comeback ability. Um, there's not a huge meta that you can go with now. It's basically just tanks and that's it. And the, the maps they took out of the game are 
literally bot drop was the only map where it wasn't just tanks running around and it wasn't just control you had the brock you had the penny you had the pams you had the pipers the jeans the really long range which you don't normally see in today's meta it's very rare for you to see that and we saw a ton of that on that map and they they basically added a bunch of bushes and walls in the middle of that map and called it like mecha something i don't even know what it's called and it's it's just more just tank meta we ran triple tank on it in a competitive tournament because that's the best comp it's just it makes no sense for the game like i don't understand why they want everything to just be about tanks and auto aim and and i just don't understand the direction of why they wanted to do that now it, like i again that's just my opinion um i know a lot of you guys wanted to know what my opinion was on the mode i can continue to elaborate i could talk about how you know penny's turret is overpowered in this i could talk about how the first push ability is way too big. Uh, and what I mean by that is like the odds to win on a first push. Like we don't have a first push comp at all, yet we're still doing always an unreal amount of damage. Like only I attacked there, our teammates didn't even go in and we still did 30%. Just because the bots do way too much damage now. They're way too fast. Um, the, the mode just doesn't make sense. I tried to think of a solution, something I thought of in my head was perhaps to have two bots. So say uh, right now the bolts are four to one. So say it ended off four to one, we would have a level four robot spawn and they would have a level one robot spawn, but it would just be way too defensive at that point. You know, it would it would probably be a little bit worse than it is right now. So that shouldn't be a thing, but also the, the mode being two and a half minutes means uh, bolts spawn way too quickly. You can trap people in their spawn. And what I mean by that is right now our bot is pushing and after they defend, they're going to have 30 seconds to come back and win the next mode. So right now it's 3 to 2. You guys are going to see the, the timer is going to start. So 30 seconds. They're low health. Basically, if Ellie doesn't suicide like that, they're low health. They have to come out of our spawn where we already have the advantage by getting bolts right now. And, you know, we have positioning. There's just no way. It takes them about 15 seconds just to come near us. And if Ellie didn't die, you know, they wouldn't have even came like remotely near us. We already like guaranteed won the game just because they were trapped in their spawn. It's just, it, it just doesn't make sense, this new Siege. I, I really don't like it. And I mean, it's still the fastest way to gain trophies. So I am going to play the game mode a ton still in videos and I'm still going to be playing it obviously for competitive reasons, but it's just the, the whole point of the mode and the reason the mode was special is now taken away for the fact that randoms don't want to queue up and lose 12 trophies, which I think is just, it's just wrong but that's just my opinion and that's how i'm going to end the video so let me get let me know guys if you agree with my opinion if you don't agree with my opinion um i might have been a little bit harsh in this but you know that's just exactly how i feel i don't want to lie i don't want to say things that aren't exactly true and that is my full-fledged opinion on the current mode now i do have some competitive gameplay coming out tomorrow we had a gamer league tournament and we you know i don't want to spoil anything i'm not going to say anything so you guys are going to see how we did tomorrow but I know I, I do apologize on slacking on the competitive gameplay, but that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know a lot of you guys have been looking forward to it. And make sure you let me know in the comments below if you guys really, really enjoyed uh, or sorry, not if you guys enjoyed, but if you guys currently enjoy the siege or if you think it went downhill or just or if it went uphill in your opinion, just let me know your, your thoughts. And I'm just trying to piece together a, a community opinion on this because I'm sure the siege is going to change again and opinions of top youtubers or players probably does help a little so i'm trying to form my own so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed it's going to be it for today i'll catch you guys tomorrow peace